Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your November 2019 General Psychic Tarot Reading. Gemini, I am keeping things concise this month. I have a lot going on in the background with my YouTube, but also just outside of my YouTube channel. All exciting stuff, but I just have to sacrifice a little bit more time with all that. So, we're going to get you a couple of tarot cards and a druid animal oracle here. And stick around at the end of this video for a couple of announcements just to inform you of a couple important things. But let's start with the main events happening in the astrological forecast. We have November 12th, the full moon in Taurus. And then on the 26th of November, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. And that's going to be really complimentary to you, Gemini. So we'll, we'll see how that shows up in your cards, if it does. And on the 20th, your ruling planet, Mercury, moves direct. So if you've been feeling a little fuzzy, a little scatterbrained, feeling a little out of body even, that'll help you out. Okay, I feel like that's where it stops, Gemini. So two cards. Now your Druid Animal Oracle. I feel like it's this one. Alrighty, so turning them over, Gemini. We have the chariot showing in place of the situation or lesson at hand. And then the high priest, your how to guidance. And your animal spirit oracle, the hind. Alright, let's talk. Let's go deep. <laughs> I'm filming this in Scorpio season, so appropriate, right? <laughs> okay. So first off, Gemini, November is an excellent month for you to move, to make a move, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to uh, business, you know, moving jobs, even moving homes, traveling a bit more. This looks really strong for you here this month. Or just moving your business to a different platform, even, I'm hearing for some of you Geminis. So, especially if you're an entrepreneur, Gemini, you might be thinking of switching channels or websites. And this is confirmation that that's going to be complimentary for you. But it requires effort, of course. You're being really encouraged and pushed, I'm getting here, in November to go beyond, explore, and be sort of that, that nomad warrior. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why that term is coming up, but it's coming up for you here, Gemini. Be the nomad warrior. So that's kind of cool. And by being the nomad warrior, opening yourself up to more travel opportunities or simply moving, you know, your business or your job or moving onto a different group of friends, even, it's going to help, Gemini, your spiritual growth. And it's going to give you a better foundation, I feel like, 
with the Hierophant here, or with the High Priest. There's something more foundational and strong about making those necessary moves here in November. And the High Priest does represent Taurus energy, especially. So that Taurus full moon on the 12th is going to be really powerful and potent for this particular uh, situation or lesson that you're going to be receiving. Okay, so that's going to be powerful. Chariot represents Cancer, which is ruled by the moon. So, ooh, you know, yeah, this energy is really strong, you know. I feel like some of you might be even challenging. You may find yourself in a challenge or challenging through debate, a spiritual leader, a pastor of a church, something like that, where you feel compelled to challenge them. And I feel like it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for everyone, even, to bring up, you know, why you feel like they need to be challenged. You know, it's, it's bringing awareness up. Um, the hind, moving on. <laughs> the hind is your spirit animal. The hind is encouraging you. You have a lot of go-getter kind of energy showing up here with these two tarot cards, but the hind is informing you. If you can, stay grounded and calm behind the scenes throughout this. Try to execute things and move forward with things with grace. Okay, keep an innocence about this. You know, if you feel your ego starts to get in the way or the other person's ego is getting in the way, which this could just simply be speaking to the other person here, then of course speak up. But speak up with still using those principles of dignity and grace because that is going to come across more strong and it's going to leave you feeling energetic energetically pleased with yourself. It's going to keep you at peace, Gemini. And that's essentially, I feel like, what this overall theme and energy situation is about is, with Hind here looking at it, it's about bringing up this situation so that you can reach or that you can help the people around you, the congregation even, around you. Reach a state of more inner peace. And in order to get to this state of inner peace, you have to make something more aware. You have to expose it to some capacity. And, you know, this could just be happening within yourself, and that's fine, too. You don't have to go, you know, big leagues and just, like, make it known to everyone or, you know. However this resonates with you, to whatever level it's resonating with you, is, is what you should trust. But the overall theme and message is definitely there for you. And I'm hearing real quick and feeling this spiritual innocence. There's something about spiritual innocence being reclaimed. Spiritual innocence being reclaimed. Huh. So I'll be interested to know your thoughts and how that, me you know, what that means for you, Gemini, in the comments below. Before I go here, a couple of those quick announcements that I mentioned. Um, if you want a deeper read to get more information on this, I am still doing personal readings, so you can book with me on my Etsy shop. Link is below in the descriptions box, of course, as well as my email and Facebook, so you can access all that there. Um, and also, the 
if you haven't yet, Gemini. Not only does it help support me in doing these videos for you, but subscribe to my channel so you can also stay up to date on when the next Myths and Prophecies with Legaz and Rory comes out. <laughs> I am enjoying doing those series, and for those of you who are watching them, I'm glad you're enjoying them too. They're so much fun. It's a whole new level to my channel, but I love it. So there you have it, Gemini. I will see you soon. Take care.